What's good, y'all? I'm back with another video. Decided to make one with this female. And this video is just gonna be about the pit bull experience. You know? Why uh, why you need to choose a pit bull as your companion. I say a pit bull be probably one of the best breeds to get is because they ver they're a versatile breed. They can do just about anything. They kind of skilled in all areas. I mean, some areas harder to train them in, and some areas they better in, but they can basically do it all. You know, good time. This female here, she's all go. Always wanna, always trying to move and run around. Can't never just sit still. Barking, barking. This is the barker right now. The yard. One of them, one of two. No, one of really three or four. Machida, one of the main barkers when you come in the yard, probably the main barker. But yeah, so when you, you experience a pit bull, when you have a pit bull, man, you no, know, just be ready for anything. You know, come outside, they on top of the dog house. Got the dog, dog, walk, dog bowl in him out, water bowl in him out. You know, then chew through the, through a kennel on the roof. Sometimes then, bit through a cage. Be prepared for anything. Some of these dogs are super intense. That's why they not for. Not, some of them are not for everybody, and some of them are for everybody. You know. But um, some of it goes with training. You train them, you know, you spend time with them, train them to calm down, you teach them. You just gotta, sometimes you just gotta have time for them, you know, more time to give each and every one more care, you know, and they'll get them to calm down. They'll, understand, they'll you know, be more relaxed and patient. But some of the ones that I've had, they they have been wild and aggressive as far as when they uncertain, you put them in a cage, they don't know it's just for an hour. You know, you take going, or 30 minutes, you're going for a ride, right quick, taking them somewhere. I mean, you look out, you're dating, bit through the kennel, you know. But I got one that we keep in the house. He, uh, can let him out to use it. He opens up the door, scratches at the door, opens up the door. I looked at my daughter, they scratched up the, the uh, that one of the, the side of the door, he scratched it all up. But man, these dogs are either make you or break you. you know, sometimes it's not the dog, it's the people who going off the stereotypes of the dog. They don't even know how your dog is. They going by what they heard, the rep, you know? But you can't worry about them. But at the same time, them people out there and they cause us problems. And as you can see, this is the real pit bull. The real and true thing. So this ain't no copycat, no. It's the real pit bull that people talk about in the news. Real thing. Look at it. Look, she heard something. Look, she heard something. On the hunt. Look, she on the prowl. Look. Pit bull experience. Some people get these dogs because they're more, more, you know, they're good to have around for protection. You know, you get some of these breed shit. If a, if a German Shepherd run up on you, I didn't been walking dogs and, man, big, big stray dogs come up on you, man. You want to have a dog that's going to protect you. You know, you and your family. Let's say you out in the woods, mountain lion run up on you. Your dog might not make it, but he'll hold that animal off you, you know, enough for you to get out the way. You know, a lot of these other breeds, they'd have ran away. So, that's the name of this video, the pit bull experience and why you should get a pit bull. You know, got people who bought dogs from me. They keep them in the house. Come on.
Some people keep them in the yard. Some people, I had one guy, he bought it. You know, he said he's just going to have a dog with him as he uh go on his truck routes. Be gone for, you know, a long time. So, that's what he was going to do. You can just about use them for anything. You know, whatever you got the patience for to teach them. Some stuff you don't have to teach them. But they adapt. They have, a, a, they aim to please. You know, look at her. She don't like that. She don't like that. Come on, face your face. And she jump over. That's how I do obstacles. Jump over. But yeah, she's, um, she getting up there in age pretty alert to what's going on around her that's what I like about her you know uh, I was speaking with uh, Lockjaw Kennels he said for her line man he said if they they not barking all the time and wanting to do stuff they probably won't be uh, be that good of a dog so she's hot you know, she probably won't be hot if, if uh, they're not doing all that at an early age. Which That's what she was doing. She's a tight, tight bred on a dog named Dre. And uh, probably one of the tightest Burns dogs in the country, actually. You know, she got some siblings. And there's a few others with them. But they these here are fewer, fewer and farer in between. So, this is one right here. Look at her. Won't just jump over. Come on. Come on. Good job. Come. Come on, mama. Come on. I don't think I had, I think only one dog I had to walk through here was okay with uh, <laughs> walking on that. Come on. Yep, but she's, she's one of a kind. Yep, so I'm just getting them out the yard, man. Getting them out the yard. Little break. Woo! What she look? Yeah. So. Let's see. Yep. Yeah, this is the dog that everybody be talking about. Usually negatively, but sometimes positively. Now these dogs, man, they known for being nanny dogs, family dogs, which I keep mine around the family a lot. If, you know, and, and I've heard stories growing up, always people telling you, oh, um, they'll turn on you. They'll turn on you, this, that, and the third. And I done had so many dogs, man. Probably over a hundred. And I never had one turn on me. You know, I had one dog that growled at me a few times. But I was younger and the dog had some bull master in it. But other than that, my pit bulls, especially true ADBA with uh, game bred or original pit bulls, I never had one of those turn on me. You know. But I never, I don't deal with every bloodline, so... I pretty much stick with blood, the same lines or lines as close with it, you know. So, so yeah, that's how it goes. Beautiful color on this jet, beautiful coat. She kind of wet and muddy at the bottom. <laughs> kind of might have went away, but at the top you can see her, her coat changes. Sometimes she's like a dark chocolate brindle. Now it's like fading, it's like a light chocolate brindle as the weather warms up. So that's a good adaptation she has. Uh, most dogs probably have, but her coat is lightening up as the weather heating up. Beautiful little jet. A lot of people call me up, want some of this blood. 
already. I, I'm like, damn, all I got is this jip. I'm gonna take and and put uh and put Leo on her. He he had a quarter burn. She's a hundred percent burn, so those puppies would be sixty-two point five. Remember, a quarter. Uh, he has a quarter of burns blood in him, so when his offspring will have a half of that quarter, twelve point five. She's a hundred percent dog, so fifty percent of her blood will be contributed to the puppies, making them uh 62.5 percent burns with uh the rest which would be what 30 uh let me see 62 which would be damn i ain't good at man be 38.5 i think thug so and then also i have a little boomer coming through thor so yeah that's what how she her first little be bread this is how she is my little jip here man what's up girl What's up? What you say? Still look, she looking. She ain't worrying about me, she looking. What you see? What you see? What you see, mom? Yep. Probably gonna do a little. Little separate video.